WUSA 9 Weather Impact is sponsored by Morgan & Morgan. All right, Michaela, folks are looking for things to do this evening. The weather should hold out if they decide to do things outside. Yeah, absolutely, Larry. It does look like it's shaping up to be a pretty nice summer evening. So if you still got some moving in to do for any of our new Howard students, it is going to be relatively pleasant for you. Temperatures over the next couple of hours falling into the 70s with just a few of those fair weather clouds moving in. Now, I do think a stray shower will be possible overnight tonight, and I'll show you what that looks like on future cast here in just a second. Waking up on your Sunday morning temperatures are going to be in the 60s for the DC Metro region 50s as you head further out towards the west. So a little bit of a cool start to the morning for a few. If you have been done with the heat, get out early tomorrow morning to enjoy the uh, little bit of a cool off we're getting. Here's a breakdown of your forecast as we get into your uh, Sunday. What you what you really going to notice as you head into tomorrow afternoon is the humidity or rather lack thereof. I'm showing you your uh, heat index values to show you that our temperature is going to be feeling like exactly what it is reading at 84 by about five o'clock and that's exactly what it feels like like lots of sunshine. Now tonight what you'll notice is maybe a stray shower or two close to uh, 10 and 11. So make sure you're checking in with us at 11 o'clock. Could see a few things on the radar at that time. Skies clear out by the time we wake up on Sunday morning. One or two fair weather cumulus clouds here and there throughout the day, but overall a gorgeous day. If you still have some cleanup to do from uh, the impacts that Debbie brought us, you'll have another great day, day to do that on your Sunday and even getting into your Monday. We've got some more sunshine on the way. Your brunch plans on Sunday are in in the clear. It might even be a little cool as we hit that 10 o'clock hour, but perfect by the afternoon and into the evening as well. If you've got any uh, outdoor dinner plans now over the next couple of days, we're staying in the 80s. So outdoor plans for the next few days. If you don't have any, well, you should make some. It is going to be just spectacular out there. If you're going to the uh, Nats game tomorrow, that first pitch is at 1135. Perfect baseball weather we will start in the 70s and we'll end in those low to mid 80s by the start of the afternoon. Have those sunglasses in the hat along with you. Stay hydrated. It's still going to be warm out there, but overall just a gorgeous day with more sunshine on the way for your Tuesday and Wednesday. All right, we do have to talk a little bit about the tropics. We are continuing to monitor one area still way out there in the Atlantic, but does have about an 80% chance of developing over the next seven days and is expected to move into the Caribbean Sea as we get closer to the start of next week. So we'll continue to uh, monitor that system. Now your 10 day temperature trend. We're going to be uh, warming up at least a little bit mid 80s by the end of the week and then a cool off next weekend. A long term model show us in the upper 70s to low 80s by Sunday. All right, your seven day forecast. Lots of sunshine, a few stray showers this week, but no washouts in the forecast. I'm not bringing around really a mentionable rain chance until sun, uh, excuse me, Saturday of next weekend. It's nice to see that fall is slowly starting to make its way back back home, right? <laughs>